Here we are at the start of the game. They start you off with an axe, a torch, and a bow. You could use the axe to harvest rock, wood, and metal, as well as fight with it if you need to. The more points you put into your harvesting skills, the more resources you'll get when you harvest. When you kill an animal, they'll drop animal skins and meat. The animal skins can be used for bandages and the meat for cooking. The animal meat can also be used for armor and for the sewing station. Your very first quest is to collect urchin fruits, which you'll see in the upper right hand corner. When you track a quest, you'll get an indicator on your screen that'll tell you which way to go as well as how far away the quest is in meters. The urchin fruit don't give you a lot of food and water, but at least they give you both, and they're plentiful. Your next quest eliminates small Ogin, and you'll see it's like 209 meters away to your left. SNL Sensento. Now there's a lot of purple, globby, nasty things on the ground. Um, I suggest lighting them all on fire and clearing the area because you have NPCs that spawn here. And if you clear the area, you'll get more people for your villagers. A fun fact that I found out later in the game was that you can take the corpses of these Ogans that you kill and equip them like a gun so you get like this dead octopus gun that you could shoot around at people.
These glowing knowledge modules are super important, so go out of your way to grab one whenever you can. To survive that butt-kicking boss that you'll have to fight later in the game, you need to unlock crossbows and turrets. Hey, if this video helps you at all from having everything destroyed and having to start the game all over from scratch again after spending hours getting to the point where you get destroyed, leave a like and a comment. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you run out of arrows in the middle of a fight, you could always make more. I've even harvested wood in the middle of a fight because I ran out of arrows. When you see random NPCs on the map like this one, recruit them. Having villagers is awesome. They help you build things, they help defend your village, and they help harvest things when you tell them to.
gentle. Vido. For whatever reason, these hostile NPCs like to stand next to these explodey barrel thingies, so use them when you get the chance. And yes, your biggest nemesis in this game is bag space, well, outside of certain bugs. And there's no real way to extend it or get a bigger bag like you can in other games. Although you get vehicles later on that have storage with them so you could travel and use that as well. The one thing I did notice is that if you don't have the bag space to grab something, even hours later you could go back and grab it, so unless that changes, that's something you could do right now in the game. Your next quest is Journey to High Tower, which is that big tower in the middle of the screen right now. Make sure you have a working torch because you got some gunk that you got to burn your way through to get to the top of that.
honestly I don't think you have to burn all of it I think you could just burn a tiny bit of it and make a clear way to the top but as you see here I burn all of it just in case Every time I've done this quest, I usually have problems getting to the top of this thing. I get stuck, but I kind of go right and left, and eventually I make my way to the top.
Oh, this group of hostile NPCs here, you got to kill them. They got a motorcycle in the middle of that camp, and that thing is awesome. And as you can see, those two NPC villagers that we recruited earlier are helping us fight these guys. A lot of these guys have armor, but the armor has durability, so sometimes you gotta break their armor to get to their bodies to do real damage to them. Okay, now this part is super important. Before you talk to Bering, build a research station. It only costs four wood and two stone. Once you talk to Baron, he's going to give you a quest to build like four different things. And if you complete his quest, that'll set in motion a timer on this butt kicking boss to come kill you. And once he comes and you're not ready for him, he'll destroy your totem pole and you'll literally have to start the game all over with no progress whatsoever. So wait till you got some proper defenses up before you complete Baron's quest. This here is how you mark some resources for your villagers to farm. First try, and I unlock the turrets. What knowledge you get is totally random, so hopefully you get lucky enough to get the turrets and the crossbow. Second knowledge fragment, I unlock the crossbow. I'm normally not this lucky. Not at all. As you plan out your crafting stations and other buildings, your NPCs will actually build those for you if you have the resources to do so, and they'll even farm resources to get things done.
Research center and storage bins. Probably the first things you start off with. So you got a place to put all your junk. I like to put points in archery or shooting because that's just my style of fighting. I also put points in crafting and building because if you fail in building something, you just lose those resources and that kind of sucks. Oh, and this is how you make water. There's always this cooking station, this hut over here. Later on in the game when it's destroyed, you got to make your own, but for now you could use it. It just takes a little bit of water and some wood. Well, dirty water, that is.